This conference will now be recorded. Business consolidation with group reporting as for HANA 2023. So we are going to understand this product based on as for HANA 2023. We all know earlier we used to have we we have one product we had one product BPC. I mean currently now you you can see BPC product but uh, the customers are decreased business planning and consolidation BPC as part of uh, BPC SAP used to uh, implement planning and consolidation now what SAP did planning they moved to SAC SAC planning consolidation they moved to S4 HANA as group reporting so using group reporting S4 HANA 2023 we are going to understand legal consolidation management consolidation and intercompany matching and reconciliation these three main topics so what SAP did here for the actual side all right so your FA day-to-day -day transactions FA day-to-day -day transactions FA close intercompany and group close all part of this particular actual data legal consolidation so there are two tables involved here for the local close we use act doc a table universal journal table for group close we use act doc u table which is group reporting table yeah so here so it's now remember one thing it's 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 all comes under one one product one product which record to report process right earlier we used to have record to report in the record to report we used to include financial reporting and local code close but now what SAP did in the record to report process they included group reporting also so when they included group reporting alternative I mean also they included intercompany matching and reconciliation that process planning when you when you talk about planning so the planning well, whether that may be workforce planning or activity type price planning or cost center expenses planning or product cost planning or capital expenditure planning or sales and profitability planning all the planning scenarios SAP moved to SSC you can see this planning part earlier what used to happen uh, in 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 finance only we used to uh, we used to use CO for product cost planning and uh, expenses planning balance sheet planning and so this 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 divided into two parts SSC planning and legal consolidation as part of group reporting so SAP's modern finance platform this is the modern uh, financial platform so it's moved to SSC planning and group reporting only these two things so we are going to cover only group reporting part in this particular demo so earlier when we were having BPC yeah so we have legal consolidation as a separate system and total we used to have ECC system you you if you remember ECC to BW BW to BPC we used to load data so there are uh, uh, data footprint different data footprints one one time we have to load it in ECC then we we have to post it in ECC then we we load to BW then we load to BPC so three times two times we used to load yeah for the legal consolidation so now legal and at that time legal and low I mean local and group reporting I mean group accounting both are two different uh, servers you might ask me like earlier we used to have ECCS but ECCS part of ECC only but very less customers used to uh, have this ECCS ECCS can handle uh, SAP and non-SAP data but very less people implemented but BPC a lot of people implemented so group uh, group accounting or legal consolidation used to happen in ECC I mean uh, BPC and local accountant uh, local accounting actually happened in ECC system at that time so now what happened both local accounting and group reporting both in one system central finance system one system only S4 HANA group reporting S4 HANA local accounting in one system so SAP S4 HANA system so we we have universal journal in the same S4 HANA we have 
uh, group reporting data table in, in same as for HANA. I see a DOCM table which for intercompany matching and uh, reconciliation that also same same as for HANA. All the three legal consolidation or uh, 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 local close or any uh, intercompany matching or reconciliation we use we use Fiori as front end. So the one user experience, one analytical tool set we use embedded analytics for analytics and one user experience all Fiori apps are available in Fiori. Whatever required for legal consolidation, local close and ICMR. So it's tightly integrated process. And then so you we have we are going to understand group reporting preparation ledger as part of this particular cross GRPL we used to call. So group reporting preparation ledger. So earlier it was 2022 they introduced. Now it's part of uh, group reporting, right? It, by default it activates GRPL group reporting preparation ledger. So we are going to discuss group reporting preparation ledger. Total course content divided into three, four parts. Yeah, you can see here four four, four parts. So today we discuss entire course content tomorrow we'll 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 see the overview first part data collection so any system right it may be fi or co mm pp or group reporting first we have to collect the master data why master data we have to collect if if so earlier how we used to implement fi so we used to collect the uh, requirements then blueprints then we used to create company course chart of accounts well status variance posting period variance all those in fi we used to create our own so it's it's i'm talking uh, i'm i'm talking about 12 years or 15 years back yeah so recently i mean few years back like five six years back sap introduced s4 hana with the s4 hana sap changed the methodology of implementation which we call activate methodology so what they did basic configuration or best practice configuration they introduced best practice configuration so whenever we introduce or whenever we implement any project first we implement these best practices after implementing these best practices we start with master data so with the best practices whatever required configuration for fi gl ap ar asset accounting group reporting materials management sales and distribution so for all the modules whatever based on industry based on uh, cross industry whatever the based on country specific or uh, 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 country specific you have best practices available so once you implement the best practices on top of so configuration comes with the best practices so earlier we used to configure but sap already configured the system now then only after configuration what we need master data so data collection includes master data and transactional data so master data for group reporting like consolidation unit financial statement item document types consolidation groups consolidation structure fs item hierarchy consolidation account hierarchies so those we have to maintain first then we have to load the transactional data so we have transactional data from sap systems and non sap systems both we have to load then data preparation so once master data transaction data available we have to validate that particular data for the future consolidation validating is basically finance data we need balance sheet so for a ledger whatever balance sheet income statement available we need to check whether balance sheet assets equal to liabilities plus equity or not. Whether PNL net income is matching with balance sheet net income or not. We need to perform currency translation. Even though we had uh, we we have currency translation in S4 HANA finance for group reporting, we separately maintain the currency translation because the policies changes, the calculation changes. So FI, whatever you currency translation you have, that is basically local uh, for the country specific currency translation. So whatever currency translation I am talking about in group reporting, that is group relevant currency translation. It's applicable for all the consolidation unit for a particular group. Any adjustments on top of this existing data, we can post 
in the data preparation phase adjustments like local you might have some uh, accounting standard and you are posting in the local based on your country specific requirement when it comes to the group for example you have some for example you say gain on asset sale you want to show separately in the local reporting but in the group reporting i want to show gain on asset sale as other income so if if we have any values i want to do some manual adjustment to reclassify to uh, uh, other income and also at past of uh, as part of uh, preparation we are going to understand intercompany matching and reconciliation <laughs> as part of intercompany matching and reconciliation icmr application icmr application we are going to understand intercompany transactions we can identify intercompany transactions based on the partner unit right so if if one transaction partner unit is blank in in one transaction if partner unit is blank we call it as third party transaction if partner unit is filled with uh, some con, uh, some company so we call it as intercompany transactions we identify all intercompany transactions we track all the intercompany transaction differences so icmr my application main purpose is tracking the differences in whatever intercompany transactions in in what intercompany transactions whatever differences you find you, you can identify those intercompany differences in this application and you can assign a reason why the intercompany reconciliation accountant or local accountant can assign a reason to this one reason he can assign yeah so so kindly mute please so consolidation once the data preparation icmr completed we start with consolidation as part of consolidation we run intercompany eliminations these intercompany eliminations we can link with this intercompany matching and reconciliation application so here we identified some differences so those differences can be posted to different accounts different fs items transactional difference other difference currency translation difference so inter when when i run the intercompany elimination system has a capability the sap recently introduced this so system has a capability system can read intercompany matching and reconciliation differences and they it can post those differences so i'm talking about legal consolidation group reporting so then consolidation of investments as part of cy consolidation of investments we are going to run investment eliminations capital eliminations goodwill calculations minority calculations and we are going to run subsequent consolidation so first consolidation and subsequent consolidation as part of consolidation of investments we are going to discuss and we are going to use rule based to understand this particular rule based uh, so there is there is a concept called rule based so we are going to use rule based as part of consolidation of investments we will understand versioning special versions all those things as part of uh, master data only and reporting side we use group data analysis there is a particular app group data analysis app we are going to use this group data analysis app for the reporting purpose also we can we can use if you have any custom requirements you can use uh, some embedded analytics right so we are not going to discuss embedded analytics here in this particular course it's a separate course embedded analytics we are we are going to understand using group data analysis app how to create reports using group data analysis we are going to create pnl statement and balance sheet using group data analysis with reporting rules it, there, it is another app group data analysis with reporting rules we can understand cash flow changes in equity comprehensive income how to prepare these three statements so these are the main four uh, 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 topics and also 
uh, detailed uh, topics also I listed here. Unit 1 business consolidation with group reporting. So we have lessons on this particular topic and we are going to execute the exercises. If you have your own system, you can execute parallelly with me. If you and me working in the same system, then there might be some locking issues, but you can try. Master data structures, so unit 2. So versions, special versions, consolidation units, consolidation groups, hierarchies, additional master data. So if you want some additional master data like profit center, segment in your consolidation reports, yes, you can get it. So how to do that? How to add custom fields? If you have some custom fields in FI, if you want to include those custom fields in group reporting, how to perform those things? If you want to enhance your financial statement item or consolidation units with the new properties or attributes, how to do that? We are going to understand breakdown categories. FS items are linked with breakdown categories for the quality of data. It's kind of a validation. So we are going to understand breakdown categories. Using breakdown categories, we are going to control sub items like transaction types and functional areas. And we are going to understand financial statement items, how operational chart of accounts are mapped to the financial statement items as part of unit two. We have exercises like consolidation groups and units, consolidation hierarchies, FS items. And then data preparation. As part of data preparation, we are going to understand how the data released from the AgDoc A table to AgDoc U table. And also, we are going to understand reported financial data. Reported financial data means we, we have flexible upload. We have flexible upload. So we have flexible upload as using flexible upload file. We can load non-SAP data. We can load non-SAP data. So all consolidation units which are part of S4 HANA, we release the data. All consolidation units, all consolidation units where we have uh, non-SAP data. So we, we load using CSV files. Once the data loaded, we will validate the data. So and also validations, we are going to understand different validation rules we are going to create. We are going to understand what are the different types of documents, document types we call it as, how those document types and posting levels are useful to prepare the reports. So we are going to understand manual adjustments and also we have some concept called validations and substitutions. So we are going to understand those validations and substitutions. Reclassifying the data, if you want to in, if you want to automate some of the entries. So entries like manual adjustments are already available. Manual adjustments we do for one or two one time adjustments. But if some adjustments are repetitive behavior, for those we use reclassifying reclassifications. We will understand this reclassification, how to how to create this reclassification methods, how to add those rules how to automate those entries. Currency translation, as part of currency translation, we are going to understand historical and non-historical accounts currency translation. Different formulas we use for non-historical and historical accounts. We will understand how to calculate the currency translation difference. And all the exercises, we can you can see all these uh, exercises till exercise 12, we are going to understand. We are going to execute in the system. Then as part of consolidation of uh, uh, consolidations and eliminations, we are going to understand management consolidation, legal consolidation, intercompany matching and reconciliation, intercompany eliminations, consolidation of investments. Unit 4. Unit 4 is a, uh, a, a very big uh, uh, unit. It, it covers all consolidation relevant topics which are new. Intercompany matching and reconciliation we'll review. Then 
uh, we will we will 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 do some new apps are there reconciliation close where group accountant and intercompany accountant can connect and they can see the status of intercompany matching and reconciliations implementing intercompany and matrix eliminations so eliminations matrix elimination basically management consolidation plus legal consolidation we can perform in group reporting that's why we call it as matrix consolidation so intercompany eliminations we will run as part of intercompany eliminations balance sheet eliminations will understand we will understand sales against the cox elimination we will understand ipi profit on inventory eliminations we will understand this one profit on inventory elimination and matrix reports also we will understand as part of consolidation of investments we are going to understand purchase method how the purchase method can be used for consolidation of investments all investments capital eliminations minorities goodwill calculations we will understand here and equity pickup it's a topic so optional topic it's a reporting requirement so we are going to understand this equity pickup then we are going to do the exercises, all intercompany eliminations relevant, ICMR relevant, consolidation of investments, exercises we are going to understand. In the last unit, we are going to understand balance carry forward, reporting logic and reporting rules, basically cash flow changes in equity comprehensive income, how to perform the table preparation, like reporting rules we call it as, how the balance sheet movements, movements are transfer to this cash flow if you want any sign change how to do that based on the sub items you can based on the transaction time you can transfer those then you have best practice content as a look so we have uh, planning relevant stuff if you have sac planning i mean uh, if you want to integrate sac with the group it's an optional topic i just explain this thing how the planning integration can be done with group reporting integration can be done with SSC. so reporting rules balance carry forward and we are going to cover and integrated planning this i am not going to cover because we need a system for this so it's it's optional i just explained that and also we will cover group reporting preparation lecture entire topic so this course This course planned for 30 hours and session time 6.30 p.m. India time to 8.30 p.m. India time. Only Saturday and Sunday. Right? These are weekend sessions, Saturday and Sunday. Sessions are not recorded. You have to attend live sessions. Course cost is 30,000 INR. You can pay in two installment. First installment by next week and second in second one for two or three weeks after two or three weeks you can pay. Server, whatever server I am using, same server you can use. The server vendor, he will charge 5,000 for three months and if you want one month, he will charge 2,000. INR I am talking about. I will share configuration steps, documentation, relevant documentation, class notes. Yeah, so I will share all those things. After the course completion, I will add you in a WhatsApp group where we can discuss all your project relevant uh, issues, right? So this is all about uh, today's uh, demo. Yeah. Any 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 questions here? You can unmute yourself and ask me. Get a very basic question: whether the group reporting and the consolidation are one and the same? So group reporting, using group reporting, you can execute the legal consolidation. So group reporting as a module, you can use it for many, many other other stuff also. So if, if, if you want to automate and uh, you want some group reporting without legal consolidation, if you want some group reports, if you have a lot of companies, you want to uh, do some aggregate reporting, you can do that also. So legal consolidation and management consolidation is main main uh, uh, part main uh, mod, main what do you say main processes in group reporting yeah any other questions 
the one more question why we need the group reporting to whom we will be submitting this group reporting and when we will need to submit this we'll discuss this one in the session, in the session. okay so content relevant anything uh, sir just curious how do you see the opportunities in group reporting uh, space so this this will discuss uh, 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 later so opportunities are good we can discuss later anything relevant to course content so job opportunities you can check it in uh, google or linkedin yeah any other question so ask me group reporting relevant yeah so re yeah. group reporting relevant means like the content relevant or i'm going to what i'm going to cover or any uh, uh, whatever the topic i'm showing right content so in this anything is relevant you can ask me don't ask project relevant and all this yeah uh, yes i have a question uh, do gain assess the sab environment so is there any minimum you know computer specification i need not required not required. So basically, uh, you are going to use a remote desktop. You need yeah. very good internet connection. Okay. Yeah. Because I have bad experience when I, I joined the Microsoft Dynamic uh, 365 goals because mm -hmm. that has the you know minimum computer uh, specific requirement. It isn't uh, compatible with my PC. So so that's a lot of hassle. That's, so that's yeah. So that's uh, different because they have to implement. They have they, they might be installing in your system, but here right. it's, we are going to connect to a remote desktop. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, um, so that one is a weekend class. Yeah. So yeah. how many hours per day? So hour. Saturday two hours, two hours, minimum two, two hours. hours will 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 take. So Saturday two hours, Sunday two hours. Okay, four hours per week. There is a Correct. thirty hours. Yeah. 30 hours course yeah so it takes almost two months two months okay right uh so for the course material so and reference books so will you send me before the class when i enroll yes yes so the course material i'll, I'll i can i can share it prior to the course no problem yeah so by by referring to the course materials you will teach one after another yeah yeah, yeah, I follow strictly follow the course uh, content, and uh, uh, there is a book called S4F95. So I, I strictly follow that particular document. All right. Okay. So that you Thank can you. refer when after the session, you can refer same same steps. Yeah. Okay. Right. Thank you. Any other questions from other participants? Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah, I just I just joined. Uh, my team is late on this session. Can we get a recording of this session? Yeah, sure, sure. Okay. Just send an email. I'll I'll share it with you. Sure, thank you. Yeah. I'm stopping the recording.